Hey guys, Miss Cook here. So yesterday, Miss Dean Perry taught you how to um, solve exterior angles and interior and how that works. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you the exact same thing, but with just a little bit more, maybe a little bit harder. So if you are stuck on yesterday's lesson, please reach out to your teachers or you can also reach out to me um, or review the uh, video from yesterday. So you have lots of options before we move on because we want to make sure you understand. So I'm going to go over what an exterior angle is. Remember the exterior is that outside angle. So something I like to do is to box my outside angle. Then she talked about the interior angles, the inside angles. So what I like to do is circle my interior angles. And she said that my two interior angles equals my exterior angle. So I want to set up an equation so I could solve for x. So I'm going to set up 5x plus 10 plus 58 equals 11x plus 2. Now, we want to combine like terms on the same side. Well, 5x doesn't have anything to combine with. So 5x, oh, look, we have this 10 and the 8. They both combine together, and we get plus 68 equals 11x plus 2. Now, I'm going to put a line down the middle. I'm going to create a variable island and a constant island. So I'm going to make this my variable island, where I'm going to put all my x's, and I'm going to make this where I put all of my numbers. So this 5x needs to be kicked over to the other side. So I'm going to do the opposite and subtract 5x from both sides. 5x minus 5x is 0. So we get 68 um, equals 6x plus 2. Now it's a two-step equation. Well, that 2 needs to be kicked over, and the opposite of addition is subtraction. So subtract 2 on both sides. And we get 6x equals 66. Now think to yourself, how do I get that 6 to go away? If you're thinking division, you are right. Divide by 6 and we get x equals 11. Now we aren't done because we need to plug it back in to find that missing angle. In your homework, you're going to have it where it's red. And if it's red, that's the angle you need to find. So we're going to plug that back in. So 11. Now instead of writing x, we're going to write this 11 times 11 plus 2. So 11 times 11 is 121 plus 2. So our answer is going to be 123 degrees. Good. Let's do one more example. So I'm going to box my exterior angle to start. Now I'm going to circle my interior. Well, I don't know what my interior are. We have several options. But remember, we want the ones that are furthest away. So the one that's touching it, we don't care about. Get rid of the 100. Circle the 2. Create your equation. So x plus 18 plus 4x plus 2 equals 6x plus 8. Whew, that's a lot. Don't let it scare you. Start with combining like terms. So this x and this x, we're going to go here and here, and we get 5x because x plus 4 is 5. Then we're going to get this 6, or sorry, this 18 and this 2, and we get 20 plus 20 equals 6x plus Eight. Now, line down the middle, create those islands. I'm going to put my variables over here and my numbers here. Now, I want to get rid of this 5x, so I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides, subtract 5x, and 5x is 0. On this side, I get 20 equals 1x. Do I need to write the 1? I don't, so I'm just going to write x plus 8. Now, last step. Opposite of addition is subtraction. So subtract 8 from both sides, and you get x equals 12. Now, am I done? I hope you are saying no, I'm not. Because I need to find this red angle right here. Now I'm going to rewrite it. I don't want the 12, so I'm going to plug it in. So 12 plus 18. And what is 12 plus 18? We get 30. So our answer is 30 degrees. Now, remember, if you have questions, please reach out to us. Watch this video again. I know I kind of went a little fast. Slow me down. Use all the resources you have. Know your teachers care about you. Know that we love you guys and know that we miss you. And if you need help, let us know. Have a great day and good luck.